Hello everybody, hope everybody's keeping well. It's been a while since I've done a toolbox tour. Um, and I think in my previous tour I didn't have the bottom cabinet. So I thought now I've got the bottom cabinet I'll do a very quick uh, tour of my new toolbox. So let's crack ahead with it. So this is a Clark HD Blast Plus toolbox. Um, it's the 9-draw version and the Clark HD Plus 3-draw step-up box. And then a Clark, again, HD Plus 7-draw uh, uh, tool box on the bottom. Uh, so, I do this. So, top of the box at the moment. I've just got some watch um, screwdrivers and I got my Parcom uh, box wrench set. Um, I haven't really decided where these are going to go yet in the box, but they're there for the time being. Uh, then got my light, mirrors, uh, tie depth gauges, etc. OBD reader, and then. Uh, digital caliber and my knives multimeter digital thermometer um, and a tech tool tray um, just because I have one spare um, pair white strippers from Halfords and then this which is a blue point circular cutting snips um, it says blue point but it's actually snap on Lecky screwdrivers from Tech Tools, and then the first big draw. I got uh, again Tech Tools screwdriver set, uh, circular pliers, hose clamp pliers, um, little Tech Tools pick set, uh, Allen keys, and ratchet screwdrivers. Uh, also in the back, a little blue point hose clamp, and then this a little blue point bit set. Next draw, Clark Pro pliers kit, uh, pliers, some other pliers, some blue point, blue point pliers, hose clamps, etc. Then this draw is made of ten, to ten tools. Got a combination spanner set, uh, torque screwdriver set, a torque T set, and a Allen key or X T set. And that's the top part of the box. First draw uh, in the step-up box. We've got Halfords Advanced uh, angled or adjustable or, or flex head, I should say, uh, ratchet screwdrivers. And then Halfords Fixed Head ratchet screwdrivers. And I've got some more of these Farcom uh, Spanners with that head on it, so it acts as a ratchet. Um, managed picking up very, very cheaply. I think the whole set cost me about 20 quid somewhere. Um, and I got Blue Point uh, Ratchet, uh, ratchet uh, Spanners. Um, these are quite old set. Again, picked them up um, quite cheaply. And then I got Blue Point, I think it's 70 degree ratchet spanners. Um, one thing about these, which I do like, is that they've got the adjuster on the side, unlike the Halfords ones where you've actually got to turn the spanner over. And then it's my quarter inch draw, and uh, I've got uh, blue point uh, quarter inch shallows, a couple of the finger drive sets, and then blue point long, and some blue point. Um, torque sets, torque um, sockets and then quarter inch ratchets uh, driver um, some extensions, some flex heads, some fixed heads some locking and then in here is the Clark, Clark um, uh, torque set, uh, male and female torques And this is my three-quarter draw. 
um, we've got some half foot advanced uh, bits whether a hex screwdriver flat or Phillips uh, blue point uh, universal joints blue point short uh, shallow blue point long um, sockets and collection of extensions some are the fixed head some are again locking ones um, and then some are like this which are the wobble head ones um, majority are, are, are blue points is some half foods ones there and then ratchets have got a little stubby uh, half foods um, fixed one and uh, half foods flex head one then the my half inch straw um, this is came out of a socket set I bought which is a German socket set called Maya Mia um, I haven't really replaced them, so they're there, and I've got some Sealy uh, deep sockets as well, or half inch. Um, again, Sealy socket adapters, uh, spark plug, spark, spark plug sockets, and then I got again this Mayer Meister, sorry, Make half inch ratchet, uh, the extensions, and I've got two of these Sealy. Um, I think they're wobble bars or for um, wheels so they set a certain uh, newton meters or pound foot you can see one is uh, 65 foot pound or focus 19 newton meters and then the other one is 75 foot 75 foot pounds or 100 newton meters and they're for air guns or battery powered guns um, ideal for when you doing chaining all the alloys. Um, I got a Sealy half inch um, torque wrench, which is uh, 20 to 150 pounds. Then a Teng tools three quarter, which is 4 to 18 pounds. And then a Teng tools quarter inch, which is 3 to 18 pounds. And then breaker bar and saws, etc. Uh, this one, pliers and grips, um, trim removal tools, uh, brick caliber wind back tool, um, oz filter removal tool and a uh, pullers, foam swipers, a uh, couple of um, adjustable spanners and monkey wrenches, trim removal tools, and then these, picking up from Machine Art when they had the last um, vat free sale, and they're the uh, adjustable vice clips vice, vice grips and they're the pro set um they are quite nice to use again i think each one of those was around about eight to nine pound um so it's not a bad price then these sort of bit straw with hammers spirit level um pry bars uh, again clark pry bars very good very cheap um, some gloves, mechanic gloves, and then some PPE. Then in here, got a Clark tap and die set. Um, I got this, which I picked up from Home Base. Um, it's a like a butterfly lamp. Um, again, I was about fifteen pound. Very good. And then got this Atachi socket set, impact socket set. Um, so it's got the uh, just that one socket. So if you've got an impact driver, you can use it as well as an impact wrench. And then you've got the bits as well for the impact driver. So the camera looks a bit weird today. And then my hobby uh, impact driver. This is if I can find it. This is the half inch 
half, in, half inch impact wrench and I've got on a uh, 1.3 amp hour battery um, I've only put a 1.3 because it's easy to keep in the box when the case but I've got a 5 amp hour battery as well I can go with it um, so it's quite good um, very good kit and then the bottom drawer um, bought this I think it was from Lidl's battery powered um, little grinder and then my little bits of glue, tape, pipes, um, battery charger um, and other bits and pieces so that's my toolbox tour I know it's been a bit quick um, also on the side I've got these little magnetic holders for aerosols and screwdrivers so I've got two one either side um, quite handy for that so that is my toolbox tour um, hope you like it um, I'll try and do some more reviews of tools um, so if you've wanted to see anything close up or reviewed let me know and I'll do a video so look forward to the next video bye